Hey, y'all, it's Carolina Weather Group meteorologist Frank Strait here to talk for a few minutes about uh, what we can expect uh, through the rest of the work week and beyond uh, with the potential for at least one and maybe even a second uh, winter weather event, mostly affecting North Carolina. No need for bread and milk runs in South Carolina, at least not yet. Looking at the current uh, weather satellites using visible imagery, since we're talking uh, in the recording this at uh, early afternoon here on uh, Wednesday, uh, shows a lot of clouds and uh, even uh, snow cover over parts of our fruited plain. A lot of clouds sitting over the southeast, uh, burning off as the uh, day wears on, but uh, very slow to do so over parts of South Carolina, uh, which remained uh, uh, gray and uh, chilly, uh, even in Columbia or in the 40s here as of uh, early afternoon. Looking farther to the west, though, you can see some clouds associated with a storm system moving through the Four Corners region, and that's going to be the first of the next two storms that we have to deal with. Also, there's a cold front uh, that's moving through the upper Midwest. There's some clouds associated with that uh, that are drifting southward and uh, to the north of there, snow cover over parts of uh, northern Minnesota and uh, northern North Dakota and into Canada. It's getting to be that time of year, y'all, where you see that snow cover a lot. You can see it over parts of uh, New England and uh, upstate New York as well. Now, as we uh, go through the next couple of days, we'll see this storm over the Four Corners uh, taking the low, co the low road across the southern tier of states and into and through the southeast. And uh, that, again, is our uh, first of two storms we'll be dealing with uh, over the next week. Now, to show you how that's going to behave uh, in terms of some models here, let's uh, move over to uh, first uh, the high-res rapid refresh, which shows that storm coming our way as we go through the day on Thursday. Uh, bringing some uh, rain and snow to western North Carolina and uh, some freezing rain and sleet too uh, later in uh, late in the day, well actually in the evening and spreading uh, through the rest of uh, the Carolinas as we go into uh, first part of Friday and uh, this model only goes out 48 hours so it doesn't cover the entire event uh, as it ends at uh, 8 a.m. on or rather 7 a.m. on Friday. But uh, as you go through the morning commute there on Friday, it looks like there's uh, some potential issues uh, along and north of I-40 in North Carolina with uh, snow and uh, potentially some uh, ice buildup occurring uh, in that area. Uh, switching over to the uh, three-kilometer NAM model, which I should have uh, put in place uh, as I wanted it to before I started this. But anyway, uh, as we uh, go through the next couple of days, it shows a similar solution uh, with uh, rain and uh, mixed precipitation uh, arriving uh, later Thursday night and into early Friday across the Carolinas. And again, uh, most of that's up in North Carolina. We're uh, mostly uh, free of any winter weather to deal with in South Carolina this time. Uh, the This model's a little bit warmer, and so it has most of the snow occurring right along the North Carolina-Virginia line and having a mostly sleet and freezing rain uh, off to the south uh, along the I-40 corridor. Uh, now, looking at the uh, totals from the models here, I'll show uh, total snowfall. It's not all that impressive, uh, just uh, one to two inches there uh, on the three-kilometer NAM. Uh, outside of the mountains and uh, higher ground in the mountains, seeing a little bit more. Uh, the uh, high-res rapid refresh, uh, also not terribly impressive with uh, one to two inches, but uh, for early December, that's uh, not bad. Uh, in terms of sleet and freezing rain, though, that can get a little further south, uh, not into South Carolina for the most part. Uh, those of you in the far northwest and the usual cold spots along the North Carolina line and uh, northern Pickens and Oconee County, northern Greenville County, uh, especially those higher ground, there may be some uh, sleet and freezing rain for a time, but probably not for very long. Don't be surprised if you see a few ice pellets mixed in at the onset uh, for most places northwest of I-85, but this is a more North Carolina event in this case. So uh, it's looking like there could be some impacts to deal with uh, late Thursday night into uh, early Friday. Uh, as we go through the day on Friday, uh, we'll see the... Storm uh, starting to slide off to the south and east. Uh, the, the trailing cold front pushes uh, into South Carolina and uh, eastern North Carolina, where it'll all be uh, a rain event there. Uh, would not be a surprise if we had some embedded thunderstorms uh, along the coast in South Carolina and maybe in southeastern North Carolina as well, but I don't think it'll be anything in the way of severe weather. 
So uh, that's our first event. And again, it's uh, not a, a large part of the Carolinas that will be impacted, but uh, parts of North Carolina will have a little bit of sleet and freezing rain to deal with. Uh, again, not a major event here. Uh, again, likely uh, an inch or two of snow, maybe uh, locally more in the higher spots in western North Carolina, uh, up to six inches perhaps in the high ground. And, of course, some ice buildup could be an issue as well to cause some icy patches on the roads, but I don't think this is going to be a situation that causes widespread power outages. Uh, now, we'll move over to the GFS model here to uh, look at what we can see going forward. Uh, from there, it looks like that front's going to become stationary over South Carolina and uh, bring uh, parts of the state uh, a prolonged rain event, which we won't complain about because we've been in a drought in South Carolina and uh, remain there. So uh, a, a lengthy rain event is uh, probably a good thing for us. So uh, let's bring those raindrops, even if it does have to come on the weekend. Uh, going into Saturday and Sunday, things stay wet. little wave of low pressure rides along it. Looks like Saturday night into Sunday uh, to push the uh, rain a little bit further north, maybe into North Carolina for a time. Uh, now, uh, then as we get to Sunday night to Monday, we have a more significant storm system uh, that rides along our front and uh, causes more in the way of precipitation. Uh, again, uh, there's a late later Sunday night and into Monday. As we go into Monday, the GFS and uh, the Canadian model is in agreement with it that colder air uh, dumps into the uh, Carolinas at the last minute here and causes us to turn over to snow. Uh, again, mostly in North Carolina, but the northern fringe of South Carolina is impacted as well if the uh, GFS and the Canadian operational models are in uh, to be believed. But I'm not sure they're to be believed at this point. Uh, other models are showing something a little different. The uh, European model shows this uh, storm system Sunday night to Monday to be weaker and the cold air to be much slower. And that's usually the way things work out in these situations, that uh, instead of getting a winter weather event, the cold air just arrives too late for uh, any uh, significant amount of uh, snow or, or ice to occur when you have the uh, cold air chasing uh, the moisture. So uh, I, don't be surprised if this doesn't work out uh, and then we end up just seeing rain instead and perhaps not much of it because the uh, European model along with the Canadian model, the uh, experimental uh, update to the Canadian model uh, that should be a better version of the Canadian models kind of with the euro and not really showing much in the way of uh, winter precipitation. So uh, let's take a look at that. Let's uh, see what we have here from the European model. And uh, so let's take a look at what the European model is showing here. Uh, going through our first event, again, it's not really showing much in the way of winter weather, even in, uh, in North Carolina. It mostly keeps it uh, along the I-40 corridor for our uh, Friday event. And then with our second event, the next storm coming in is a little weaker. This is uh, this is the uh, weekend uh, event showing uh, some rain spreading back into North Carolina for a time. And then uh, the next uh, storm coming through on Monday, it's uh, noticeably weaker and uh, keeping most of the precipitation even offshore. And the cold air would arrive too late for there to be any significant wet or weather with it. So uh, that's more likely what's going to happen with early next week. So for now, uh, don't buy into any hype that's showing there could be a winter storm uh, early next week in uh, North Carolina. Of course, all that's subject to change. It's uh, far enough out uh, that uh, there could be uh, some changes to the forecast. So uh, we'll keep in in touch with that and uh, update you as necessary here on what Carolina Weather Group as to uh, what to expect uh, for this next storm coming our way early next week. All right, uh, that's it for now. Uh, enjoy your weather that uh, you do get this weekend, uh, be it uh, ice, rain, snow, or just uh, chilly weather. And uh, we'll be back with you again soon. Y'all take care.